Today's lesson, the dangers of lying. Ah, the breeze feels nice, doesn't it? It almost makes me wish sailboats could go on land. Say, that's a really strange sound. Could it have come from nature? What do you think? Do you think it was a bird? What's that? You think it's coming from Thurman and his friends? Maybe we should check in on them and see just what they are up to. Hey guys, why is everyone gathered at the town chocolate factory? Persia can't stop. There's oil on dim tracks, and he's heading straight for the town chocolate factory that they built right on top of the train tracks. I put some cones down in front of the factory. I think he will see them and stop because the cones are orange. That was some great thinking, Thurman. Orange is a color commonly associated with caution and safety. Maybe Perschel will see the orange cones and be able to stop. It don't work like that city boy. Perschel ain't stopping. He's coming in faster than an airplane hopped up on coffee. I can't stop. Oh no. Perschel are you alright? I do not even know what to say right now. I'm so embarrassed. Let me get you some paper towels. You smell like chocolate. You look good enough to eat. For food. Herschel, what is the meaning of this? I was... Herschel smashed into your chocolate factory at full speed. He also said that he did not even really care about what happened. That's it, Perschel. You're getting sent to the scrapyard. All you do is cost me money. For the time being, you were under arrest for the damage of private property. Well, you really did it now, city boy. I hope you can sleep but not knowing what you just did. Well, it looks like all your friends have abandoned you, Thurman. Are you happy with the choices you've made? Lying is not the right thing to do, Thurman. Now your friend is locked up in prison, and it's all because you chose to start telling fibs. Oh no, you're right. What can I do? I think the right thing to do would be to go and apologize to Perschel. I am sorry for lying to Mr. Top Hat about what happened, Perschel. It's not okay, Thurman. Now I'm stuck in prison because of your lies. Maybe you will make new friends. I don't think they want to be friends here. I've got to make things right, Perschel. I'm going to get you out of here. How are you going to do that? I know some information about Mr. Top Hat that he definitely would not want to get out into the public. What are you talking about, Thurman? One day I was running my typical train route when I happened to be passing by the accountant's office, flashback, I wanted to stop by and say hello to Mr. Money, the town accountant, as I usually do, but he happened to be on a phone call that particular day. I don't think you understand what you want me to do, Mr. Top Hat. That's tax fraud. You're asking me to help you commit a federal crime. I understand that you practically own the government, but if this breaks headlines, do you know what this would do for your public approval and my career as an accountant? 
We will be finished. Yes, I understand, sir. No, I completely understand what you are saying. You're right, sir. I'm sorry, as you wish. Reality. Wow, Thurman. Those are some serious allegations. I saw it with my own eyes, Pershall. But even if it did happen, Mr. Top Hat has too much power. He would never allow it to reach the public. He controls all the radio and news stations. He cannot control what I say at your court hearing. Wait, you're not going to- Yes! Order in the court. The court is now in session. On the allegations of damage to private property, we are obligated to hear both sides of the court case between Mr. Pershall Train and Mr. Top Hat. Each side may give their opening statements starting with the party of Mr. Top Hat. My client is a man who works hard. He's a businessman. A stern ruler. I mean leader. He is a good leader. My client is also someone who has a busy schedule and little time to manage everything that his employees do. The point here, is that the responsibility of doing one's job is fully upon the employee, and failure to do that job, while intentionally causing property damage as stated by Mr. Thurman, is certainly seen by my client as wrongdoing, and a direct violation of the law, thus Mr. Pershall Train is clearly guilty. The party of Mr. Pershall Train may now proceed to state their side. My client is not guilty. That will be all. We would like to call Mr. Thurman to the stand. Now Mr. Thurman, is it true that you stated that Mr. Pershall crashed into Mr. Top Hat's factory at full speed and didn't even care about it? Nope, sorry. Never said that. Oh really? Because this video provided by an anonymous source would tell a different story. Herschel, what is the meaning of this? I was... Herschel smashed into your chocolate factory at full speed. He also said that he did not even really care about what happened. <laughs> Well, I think we have all the proof we need. Mr. Top Hat is committing tax fraud. <laughs> oh no, this is bad. This is really bad. Order in the court. These are some serious charges, Mr. Top Hat. These allegations are absurd. I run this entire town. I'm also a billionaire. Exactly what incentive would I have to commit tax fraud? I saw it with my own eyes. He was on the phone with Mr. Money, the town accountant, and they were discussing tax fraud. It's true. Thurman told me everything. Thurman doesn't lie. Do you mind if I have a word with these two in private, Your Honor? I'll allow it. Okay, you two. You caught me, but I can't let this get out to the public. My reputation will be finished. I'm willing to cut you a deal. I'm listening. If you're willing to keep this quiet, I'll drop all the charges and not send you to the scrapyard, Pershall. You got yourself a deal. Wait just one minute. What is in this for me? What do you want, Thurman? I would like to be a crane operator at the docks for a day. Okay, fine. Yes! Your Honor, I would like to drop all charges held against Mr. Pershall Train. Very well. I find the defendant to be not guilty. This case is closed. You did 
it, Thurman. You saved me. It's a good thing I saved you, especially since you said you wanted to rob the gas station down the street. I never said that. Nope. He 100% said that. You are coming with this, pal.